like that. What bothers me is there have been indictments before and criminal investigations of insider trading, uh, of all sorts of impropriety uh, going on. Massive illegal lobbying has gone on in Bilderberg for weapons deals, energy companies, you name it. And you'll not just have the 140 attendees or so, you'll have 30 to 50 or even more secret attendees. That's why they cover their faces up. Government ministers, regulators, heads of the EU, uh, antitrust, meeting with Google, meeting with Microsoft, meeting with individual men that are worth 50, 60, 70 billion dollars. And that's why you've got the police from uh, four different uh, constabularies uh, here just minutes ago saying we need to move off and you know don't even shoot video here and that we're not even allowed to be here you know, 20 feet off the sidewalk because they're afraid of what will be done to them and their careers if they don't properly curtsy to the global organized mafia that's meeting 500 to 600 yards away with an iron fence paid for by taxpayers. So here we are, uh, you know, British citizens, American citizens, others, we all have a stake in knowing what's happening there because leaders from my government, leaders from the UK, they're all in there deciding uh, all sorts of deals like not paying taxes. Most of the men and women in there pay almost zero tax because they've written the tax laws. They have influenced them. So somebody like myself who's middle class, I pay 40% federal tax, over 65% total taxes. Most of these guys, they've had mainstream news articles, pay less than 10% tax of any form. And that's what's going on is tax avoidance meetings with federal regulators of the EU, the UK, and the United States. And it is outrageous that this is happening. But what's You're right, I'm a conspiracy theorist that there's a major uh, scandal in the UK right now with three members of parliament resigning over illegal uh, lobbying and allegations of that. And you're right, there's no Bilderberg meeting. I mean, they've said for 50 years this doesn't exist. They said for 30 plus years when reporters were exposing in the US, it didn't exist. I have been there with the Secret Service aiming MP5 machine guns at me to try to scare me on video. And the New York Times says it doesn't exist when I have high def footage. Okay, with, with Marines on the roof with, with uh, uh, rocket launchers and, 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 and anti-aircraft missiles in case somebody tries to fly a plane into it. They've probably got anti-aircraft missiles in there right now. They've got a no-fly zone over this deal. Are you just basically a I mean, isn't this basically wealthy people playing a lot of gold? Okay, well, even if it is, even if it is just wealthy people playing golf, having a nice meal, why is there a taxpayer-paid-for iron fence up there? Why are there police here? No, we have the minutes of Bilderberg out of the National Archives, given to myself and others, the leaks. We have the indictments back in the 70s. We have the new WikiLeaks documents where Henry Kissinger says, the illegal we do immediately, the unconstitutional takes longer. It's more of a Schwarzenegger-type accent, but that's what's going on. We know. It's not our opinion, and the idea that it's a conspiracy theory that royalty and the heads of state and robber barons meet in secret to scheme, the idea that that doesn't exist is a complete and total fraud. But these people meet together all the time. They just have to be one with the and nice people have meetings all the time. Here's the... At least we know who's meeting and where they're Do you know why we know? Do you know why we... You know where they're meeting and how... Until about a decade ago, they wouldn't release the list. They wouldn't talk about their so-called agenda because they, people said it didn't exist. In the United States, they still say this doesn't even exist. Now it's like, Alex, you've proven it exists. Aren't you discredited? You know, this is all a conspiracy theory. We know that there are powerful people who are going to be attending this, like Queen Beatrix and uh, her son and others, whose wealth is a state secret. And it's come out and been leaked that a lot of that is taxpayer funded. You've got people that are worth hundreds of billions of dollars who want more taxpayer money and expect all the police to come out here and serve them on a silver platter while, while, while EU, UK, and American taxpayers bail them out for trillions of dollars from the derivatives banking scam. I got documents out of Bilderberg 2006 where they were openly planning to implode the U.S. housing market to create a crisis and then demand banker bailouts. This is a global mafia. Doesn't mean everybody there is a criminal, but undoubtedly this is one of the most important globalist secretive meetings ever. Now it's been exposed and that's what's important.
You know what? I have been here alone covering this with no mainstream media. And so, first I was crazy it didn't exist. Now it exists, but I'm crazy to cover it. And so, if I'm crazy, I'm crazy like a fox. Is that it? <laughs> We're crazy! It doesn't exist. Hey, 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 I want to say something else for the, yeah, I'm just, I want to say something else for the viewers out there. I want you all to get this. If you had 125 Hollywood stars meeting in secret in there, you would have helicopters flying all around. But you've got world leaders meeting in secret. I mean, they cover Davos. They cover G20. This is basically a secret Davos G20 meeting. And I'm crazy. Now, notice the BBC turned off. And here come the cops. Yeah. Thank you. What was that, sir? Go ahead. Go ahead and tell me. Come on, Watson. Had you interviewed the BBC? Yes, we did. Okay. And, and then where, where would you like us to move? Um, down the road. Down the road to where? Anywhere that's not covered by the restrictions. Well, can you tell us what's covered by the restrictions? Come on in here, Watson. Certainly this side of the road and this grass area here. And then, and then we're supposed to be, when are we supposedly going to be led into the free speech zone? Tomorrow morning, I think it's about 8 o'clock. And how close does it come to the road so we can take photos of the gangsters? Well, you can see, where, you can see that fence in there, that's where you're going to be at the edge of your... Space. Is that the edge of the road? You need to speak to the protest liaison officer that's been Okay, with you. sure. Where is the protest liaison officer? I'll get him to meet you down Ma there. What is your name, sir? Darren Woods. Can I shake your hand? Yeah. Darren, nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you. I just want to give you the news because I actually read it in the Financial Times. In about five years, your whole pension's gone. No amount of tax raises will get it. You've all been robbed by these people. Okay. Remember, they've stolen all your money on purpose to impoverish you. So just remember that. Thanks, Dave. Just sweet. remember. Right. Just remember. Thanks a lot. Thanks. You bet. Enjoy it. Thanks, guys. You there you go. Folks, the police are here saying don't videotape this because they have no power. The, the Bilderberg Group has no power. They have no power. They've already taken all the public funds in the U.S. Everyone needs to just move back. That's right.